Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of my fall fashion series. In today's video, I'm sharing how to upcycle a plain old table mat into a pretty pom-pom envelope clutch. Also, be sure to stay till the very end of this video because I will be finally announcing the winner of my back to school Kylie Cosmetics giveaway and you don't want to miss that just in case you're the winner. And yeah, let's just get into this upcycle DIY. For this DIY, you will need a table mat. Any shape or color will work fine. You will also need some binder clips or any type of stronghold clip, some pom-pom trim, and a hot glue gun. So first, lay your table mat down flat and fold over the longer sides like so to create a crease. This will make it a lot easier to fold when you are applying the glue. Now using your hot glue gun, spread the glue until smooth because you do not want the chunks of the glue seeping through, especially if your table mat is woven and thin. For step two, use the clips to hold down the sides you just glued and allow that to dry for about five to eight minutes. The great thing about using hot glue is that it dries fairly fast, so this is definitely an easy and quick DIY. So once the long sides have dried, fold over one end of the mat like this and apply glue. I placed a clip at the top there just so I knew where to stop gluing. And to avoid burning yourself, feel free to use something hard like a book to press down on your clutch to help bind. And just do that to both sides and hold to dry with your clips once more. After that has dried, fold and crease the top portion of your clutch and this part will be the envelope flap of your clutch. And at this point, feel free to add any closure that you want like a snap button, but I wanted to keep mine without a closure. And I'm just using this pom-pom trim because I had some left over from another DIY, but you can definitely use any trim that you want. I think fringe will look super cute on this as well. And again, to avoid burning yourself from the glue, you can use the end of a pen or your scissors to press down on the trim to help bind. And for a finishing touch, I topped my clutch with a gem from an old broken necklace I had laying around. And once all your trims have dried, you can then rock your new clutch. I hope you guys enjoy this super quick and easy DIY. And if you do decide to recreate it, definitely tag me because I would love to see what trims you end up putting on yours. And before I end this video, I would like to congratulate Roseanne for being the winner of my Back to School Kylie giveaway. And all the details on that will be in the description box. Thank you so much to everyone who has entered my giveaway and for supporting me on this channel. And yeah, stay tuned for my next giveaway because we are so close to 10k and I will definitely be doing another giveaway for that milestone. And if you're not already subscribed, please do that down below for more DIYs like this. And I'll see you on Sunday for a special DIY video. Bye guys!